Hello, Mass Attacks here, and welcome to another episode of Taking a Closer Look. This month, we're going to take a closer look at the new premium tier 8 British tank destroyer, the Turtle Mark 1. We'll have a look at its armour profile and we'll compare it to its closest rival. This tank hasn't got a turret, so it's hull armour that we're looking at. So we'll have a look at the bottom plate first. And you get a hundred and just under 190 millimetres of armour, which isn't great. You'll be able to penetrate that. This little red bit. 235 along this that must be like a beak yep just the bottom bit of the top plate then we'll have a look at this 222 this bit slightly angled 226 look at these side bits 235 236 231 as it goes further down then there's a red bit here 265 so that's quite good have a look at that at an angle slightly angled nothing special it must be just really thick then we'll have a look at the gun mantlet 267 all oh, that's good round the gun this bit here 600 you've got no chance going through there you'll notice there is a tiny little commander's hatch on the top which is 140 millimeters, but it's going to be really hard to hit that target. It's so small. Little bit down here, it's angled so well, you're going to bounce off that. If you angle this tank, which I've noticed, the armor is a lot better. As you can see, bottom plate up to 212 there with this slight angling. This front bit, 229, 230, 229. 234 top bit 273 we'll have a look at the side 178 179 200 doesn't look like you can get a penetrating shot if you take the track off side bit 229 240 all good angled this far this back bit 175 that's your best bet totally on the side 152 that's quite good for the side of a tank and then we'll look at the rear the rear like any other tank you're going to be able to penetrate it so you have 70 76 54 there that's a little flat bit that's why you're going to bounce off that 76 so you'll have no problems if you get round and flank behind I'm only comparing this against the AT-15, which is the British non-premium tier 8 tank destroyer. So straight away you can see the DPM is a lot better on the Turtle. You do have a lot bigger gun. You have 108mm on the Turtle. The at 15s only got the 83.4. Your penetration is slightly less at 224, but your alpha damage you get 330 on the Turtle compared to the 230 on the at 15 Gun handling, aim times the same. Your dispersion's a lot worse, but 0.33 is still quite good. On the move, though, is better. Your elevation, you do get an extra 10 degrees compared to the AT-15. You both have 10 degrees of gun depression. Mobility. On paper, it pretty much looks the same. Same forward speed, same reverse speed. You do have a bigger engine on the Turtle 1, 800 horsepower compared to the 650 on the AT-15, which gives you a better power to weight ratio. Armour. You have better front armour, 254 compared to the 228 on the AT-15, but your side armour and your rear armour is slightly better on the AT-15, but I wouldn't say it really makes much difference, because if something gets around the side of either of these tanks, they're going to penetrate. But you do get 50 less hit points than the AT-15. And view range is exactly the same at 370. I'd like to thank you for watching this month's episode of Taking a Closer Look. I hope the information was useful. 
If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, little like on bottom right hand corner. And if you have any feedback, please could you leave via thumbs button in the comment section below. Cheers.